This newsreel is being brought to you by The Depot Bar and Grill. There's little left of an expensive Hummer this morning after it caught fire around 8.30 near the intersection of 431 and Borthick Road in Springfield. The fire was somewhat problematic for fire crews as it was off in the middle of a very muddy field. In fact, one of the fire trucks did get stuck in the mud trying to make it to the blaze. Uh, this fire occurred on the Baggett Farm, so they just pulled out the biggest tractor in the world and uh, didn't seem to have any trouble at all pulling the fire truck out of the mud. Another factor that's uh, slowed things down slightly is uh, firefighters weren't sure if there wasn't a few rounds of ammunition inside the Hummer, so they were uh, maintaining a bit of a distance uh, just to be safe. As you know, these Hummers can be a bit pricey, carrying an average price tag used in the $70,000 range, so I'm sure they're not too happy about losing that vehicle. I know all you Hummer owners are probably wondering what the cause of the fire was. Well, according to the uh, Baggett representative we spoke to, who also tried to put the fire out, he believed it was a catalytic converter. He said he climbed under there and uh, hit it with four or five fire extinguishers and uh, was not able to get it under control himself and then, of course, called uh, 911. Uh, with East Robertson's uh, fire truck stuck in the mud, they called Orlinda Fire, who brought a lighter weight uh, brush truck in for putting out brush fires. They were able to squeeze in through the mud, and then Adam showed up uh, with a, also a lighter truck and uh, supplied another 100 gallons. So all in all, they put about 400 gallons of water on the Hummer before they uh, finally got it out. If you're a car enthusiast or a Hummer fan, then this, of course, would be a little painful for you to watch. Uh, the Hummer was a bit of a surprise when it hit the market in 1992. It did well. Um, was made by AM General, who uh, basically took the military Humvee and converted it to a street vehicle. Then in 1998, uh, General Motors purchased the brand name and uh, started making the uh, Hummer H1, which was based on the Humvee, and then produced two new models, the H2 and the H3, which were based on the smaller civilian market GM platforms. At any rate, this has been Jim Ball reporting for Smokey Barn News in Springfield. I like to go ha, 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 I like to go he, he. Big City Dining in Springfield, Depot Bar and Grill.